guys, what's up? It's Eden and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a super fun and exciting video for this year's back to school season, which I am super excited about. And I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do three different DIY school supplies. And yeah, let's get on with the video. So I'm going to start off by taking some frog tape and taping off the spine of this composition book so that when we paint the front cover, the paint doesn't get all over the spine. Okay, so once you've taped your spine, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some blue paint and I'm going to generously cover the front cover until it is fully blue. Okay, so after my notebook dried, I removed the frog tape, and as you can see by using the frog tape, it leaves the spine beautiful and not painted, but you can also paint it if you would like to. And now that I have painted my notebook, I'm going to take these super cute dry erase stickers that I got from my local dollar store, and I'm going to take one of them and apply it to about the spot where the composition label would have been, and then flatten down the sticker. And after you do that, you are done. You have a really cute and very useful notebook that you can write to-dos on the front of or label it for your classes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And now you are done with this okay, first so for this second DIY, I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cute watercolor binder. So I'm going to start out by adding a few little drops of water to my acrylic paint because that will make the paint more liquid-like and easier to mix with the other paints and then I'll give it more of a watercolor effect. So all I'm going to do is just take a bit of the paint and put it in the middle of the binder starting there and then gradually just add little drops of the paint and dots of paint to the entire thing until you have a full binder cover. And if you don't want to do the entire cover of your binder, you can also just do a circle or anything you want, but I'm going to do the entire cover. Okay, so once you've painted all of your binder, or as much as you like and you are satisfied with it, you're pretty much done. I believe it'll take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour to dry, depending on how much you paint and how heavy your paint is. So I suggest just being very careful with it, because if you do move it or anything, the paint will slide. And that is pretty much it. Once mine dries, I'm also going to add one of those really cute... Uh, dry erase labels that I added to the notebook I showed you earlier because that way you can also do the same with your binder and write to do's on it or just label it for a class. Okay so for the last DIY of today's video I'm going to start with this really cute piece of decorative paper and I'm going to flip it over to the blank side. Then I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to cover the entire back side of the paper with glue. covered the entire side of your paper with glue, you're going to fold it in half and make sure that there are no wrinkles when it is folded and then press it down so that it is glued together, folded in half. And the edges don't have to be perfect because you will end up cutting the paper later. After you fold it in half, you're going to cover this side of the paper now with glue just like you did before. Now you're going to repeat the same step as before, which is cover it in glue, fold it in half, and then press it down so that it is glued together, and you will have folded it so it's like in fourths. So after you've done both those steps, your paper should look like this, and now you are going to take a pair of scissors, and you're going to cut your 
paper so that it's about two and a half inches wide and seven inches tall. Once you are done with that last step and you have cut your paper so that it's about 7 inches tall and 2 inches wide, you are going to take a hole punch and you are going to punch a hole just in the middle top section of your bookmark. Like so. Now you are going to take some yarn. I'm going to use this really cute pink yarn that I have. And you're going to cut about 10 to 15 strands, depending on how thick you want the tassel at the end of the bookmark to be, uh, that are about 7 inches or longer. But if you want to do a special knot with the tassel, I suggest doing at least 7 inches. And I'm just measuring the strands against my bookmark because the bookmark is about 7 inches. So you don't have to use uh, measuring tape for this exact part, but you can. After you cut your strands of yarn, you are going to gather them all up in a bundle like this and you are going to make sure they are as even as possible and if one is too long you can just trim it so once you have your yarn you are going to take the ends of it and you can twist it because that will make it easier and then you're going to put it through the hole that we made earlier. You may also have to do them one by one, but if you twist it, it does make it a bit easier to get through all at once, or you can get the ends wet, and that'll make them less static and easier to get through the hole. So once you have your yarn through the hole at the top of the bookmark, you're going to gather each end so that it is about half on each side, and you're just going to tie one knot around through the top of the yarn. Okay, so that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe down below, and tune in next time for another video. Thank you so much for watching, and bye!